All right, all right, all right. Last week was Mrs. Doubtfire, and this week feels like Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Oh, that's all right. We'll worry about that later. All right? All right. I'll take it. Let's give you a tour of the van, talk about what we're going to do in here, and see what else we come out with. So much to everybody that commented on the last video and shared it and participated in the contest and just everything um, sending me your words of encouragement and support and all that good stuff it's been rad um, I really appreciate you all let's give you a tour of the van talk about what we're gonna do in here and see what else we come out with this is my van this is my van it doesn't have a name yet I was gonna call him Ivan. I, Van, no, not funny. I thought it was funny. But I've heard a lot of people not think it's funny. So I'm still not sure on what to call the van yet. But this is my 2018 Ford Transit, medium roof, 148 inch wheelbase. These Ford Transits come in two, in three lengths and three roof sizes. So you can pick between a six. And this is basically like middle of the pack. So it's the second lo longest and it's the second tallest. The reason why I went with this bit with this particular platform as my build, well, initially was because I, that's all I can find. And then as I started thinking about it, I'm actually really glad I went in this direction. And the reason why I'm glad is because, first of all, cost of building this thing is ridiculous, just in and of itself, like outside of inflation and world worth four, three, four. And I'm glad I did because the build cost of this whole thing is gonna be much lower in terms of like parts and materials and just everything that I need to kind of put this thing together. And it's not as tall or as long. And so there's not as much like van to move. So that's one gas benefit. And then the second one is it's not as tall. So the aerodynamics are a little bit better. So, you know, there are some benefits to, to the one that I've picked here. And I still fit, like I'm not six feet, I'm like 5'10 on a good day. So what do we got here? Well, these little things are actually sound deadener. And what this does is, you hear that? Listen to this. Right, so it basically muffles the sound. So when I drive right now in Calgary because we use gravel on the road, um, you hear it like just ding and ding and ding nonstop and it actually sounds like someone's sandblasting the bottom of your Of your vehicle. Uh, they say to put like to do it on like 30% of the van I probably did more and the reason why I did more is because I don't know for those that drive with me Maybe I don't know if you guys ever realized this, but I actually like driving the silence I actually really love silence um, I'm also gonna look at potentially doing the front of the van because uh, this area also doesn't have any like insulation. It has like they're like Ford's like rubber flooring, but pretty garbage in my opinion. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna rip this whole thing out when I get to Toronto, that's a lie. When I get to Halifax, I'm gonna rip this, this front end out and I'm just gonna um, put some up here too. It's another layer of insulation to some extent. Let's talk about the build. All right, forgive my tires and the mess in here and my Birkenstock with socks. If you've never done Birkenstocks with socks, you don't know. You don't know, so don't don't judge me because I'm wearing Birks and socks because it's the the most comfortable thing in the world. There is nothing more comfortable than Birkenstocks with socks. Mark my words. Anyways, so up in that corner. That's gonna be our water tank. Kitchen's gonna be on this side. Stove kitchen on this side. Propane at the bottom of the stove. And then where I'm standing right now will be the, I think they call this a shower pan. So in the shower pan, I'll have like, like little uh, panels that kind of stick onto either side of it, onto all four sides of it. And then what I'll do is I'll put some clamps in the roof. Clamps will, 
be where I lock in my shower curtain. The shower curtain is then gonna kind of get tucked into this shower pan. Tuck it in and then because I have the water here, I'm gonna try and get a, a hose that's long enough that I can just shower with it so I don't have to do a different one. These are all things that I have to figure out. So I'm still working through that. So that's kind of the width of the counter and it's gonna go pretty, pretty much right up against the door and it's gonna be across here. And then I'll have sink, stove, and that's kind of it on this side. I don't need a lot of space to enter. So whatever like my width is shoulder to shoulder is should be sufficient to get through there. So this is that shower pan that I was telling you about, right? This chair right here. So this is going to get turned around. It's going to be on a swivel. And at the end of my counter here, I'll have a little table that will be kind of like sticking up and that's just on some like really heavy duty hinges. And then what I'm going to do at the bottom down over there, I think I'm going to install a, uh, a table mount. Now that mounting system is going to be the same one that I'm going to use on this side. I'm just going to take that table and then mount it on this side when I feel like sitting in this chair. Or if there's two people working in the van, one person can work there, one person can work there. And then this will also be a bench. So bench, the backing of the bench, and then the bench seat. And the bench seat is actually gonna have a toilet hidden in here. The toilet is compostable. It's good for number one and number two. And I'm just gonna have it slide out. So it'll slide out over top of the pan, I think. That side will be like storage and whatever. And then I'm gonna do a countertop here in this kind of little section. And then that's just gonna be a fridge. This is kind of where like bedroom and living room meet. And so I'm gonna, when, when I build that countertop, I'm gonna have a little separator that's like a couple of, I don't know, maybe 10 inches. But the separator will basically separate the bedding and stuff from the kitchen and stuff, right? I feel like you need something there. And then the same thing on this side, right? So right here, I'll have a little separator. Now here's the thing. I would love to put maybe some cabinets up in here, but I would really love to just mount like a monitor here so that when I'm working over there or over there, this monitor, I can kind of just like turn as I need to for the right spot. But, I think that's gonna be a lot of heat. And so I'm not sure, like having a monitor there, and then you kind of look through the window and then all of a sudden you see that, you know? I'm working through these ideas. I really do need a big monitor to work on. Having two screens is always great when you're editing videos or helps me at least get through tasks quicker. I'm very much more productive. I'm not, I, I'm, I'm still not sold on that. Here's where my problem really start to begin. I've recently seen some different forms of storing bikes. Also, by the way, yes, my haircut is fresh. I just got it like an hour ago. Shout out to Yoss Van Betham. Fucking thank you for the last couple of years of keeping these guys, you know, together. Uh, I appreciate you, bro. And uh, if you need a barber, he's the man to check out. So back to it. I have seen some people store their bikes upright. Just saw this the other week. Um, this guy did a really cool system where he basically allocated what would be like this part of the van to his bike. And I'm kind of thinking about doing that. And the reason why I'm thinking about doing that is because I might be able to free up some like space, maybe differently. My fear is that I'm just complicating a really simple system that just works. And the platform system is one that works. And then below it, I still have bike storage and then you know, I can fit my electrical and my water and all that good stuff. So it's, it's the simplest. It's the simplest layout to just build structural support and then just put in a bed frame. Like realistically, you can go to Ikea and pick up those extended uh, like steel beams and they're like $7 or $10 or something. You get three of those and some plywood and you cut some holes in the plywood for ventilation. And that's pretty much your bed system. So it's not expensive to build. And that's why I really like the platform scenario. Uh, plus you get the garage storage. Now in the renderings, the garage is blocked off. In real life, I don't think it will be. I think I'm gonna keep it open. Yeah. So 
I don't, I'm, I mean, I don't know how this is going to turn out. Um, I'm keeping my plan very loose in terms of like location of things. Um, realistically, all I care about at this point is fitting in this van, a shower, a toilet, full electrical, somewhere to cook, somewhere to sleep, somewhere to work. I think that's all I got. I do think I want to keep it bright. So um, maybe like a darker flooring, grayish cabinets, and then white everywhere else. Uh, I think the roof is going to be cedar. The reason why I'm going with cedar is because apparently it keeps out flies and at least most bugs. Uh, so there's that. That's kind of like the gist of it. I don't know what else to, to share with you guys. But if you have any questions, please let me know because I want to share with you all everything that it takes to do this. And I mean, maybe I'm overlooking things. I also don't want to overshare. I'm also trying to figure out that right, that balance of things, you know? So let me know, let me know what you want to know. That's it. I think that's all I got. We talked about the kill mat. I like this stuff, man. It's cool. Very clever product. Thanks again for supporting me on this crazy journey. Do share this with your friends if you're keen to, if they're interested in this kind of stuff. So I leave to Halifax this Saturday and I am absolutely excited for the road trip. I think it's going to be super cool to just be on the road for the first week. It's going to suck to be in it in an empty van because I wish we could just park and post up and just chill, but that's cool. That's all right. I will keep you all posted with how everything unravels. Uh, the next video is going to be on the road. Basically, it's going to be my first vlog on the road, which will be pretty cool. And uh, I'm very much looking forward to filming that. The last time I was on the road, I was in Grand Prairie. And I'm sitting there in a parking lot by a, by a park. So thank you to everybody for following along. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. Until then, keep rolling.